All right, here we go. We are live once again here on the Mighty Mighty YouTube. For now, as long as this net neutrality thing doesn't get messed around with too much, but I don't know, we'll have to see where everything shakes out. So how is everybody doing tonight? Welcome, welcome, welcome. This will be um, our last live stream before Christmas. I will not be doing one on Christmas Eve, but we'll talk about that here in a little bit. But for now, we got to make sure we got a, a good stream. We are, I think I might have uh, possibly found what was my issue before, and I might have been trying to stream at a higher uh, rate than what my system is capable of handling. So, that being said, um, yeah, hopefully uh, we won't get cut off. Welcome, Mary. Hello, hello. We'll get started here in just a few minutes. Um, encourage everybody to hit that thumbs up button and hit that share. Hit that share button. That's actually the, the greatest compliment. One of the greatest compliments you can pay is thinking and sharing. Which is what I'm doing right now. I'm hitting that share button a couple of times. Let everybody know we are going live right now. And yes, I said meow. Looks like Mary got into some uh, little fishy fishies. I'd be lying if I said they were little. Oh, some big butters. You guys look like that was uh, a fun outing. What was, uh, I'm, I'm curious as to uh, what the temperatures were, what the the air temperature was, and um, you know what the water temp is at that point. Because I know um, there's 20s, so the ambient air temperature was in the 20s. And obviously the water has to be a skosh above freezing. Welcome, Jimmy. And the water was cold. So you bundle up underneath. You know, it's funny because underneath my waders I've got uh, a couple of layers of uh, pajama bottoms. That's how I roll when it gets too cold. Where's all the wet waders then, huh? I don't need any waders. Just wade wet. Yeah, good luck with that. So tonight is going to be a special night. Uh, we are going to spin some deer hair. Ironically, uh, this will be to make a rain deer. So my intention is to... Uh, spin some hair around and tie up a little uh, little Rudolph in the spirit of Christmas and the spirit of the holiday season. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So we almost got six o'clock here. And let's see, we have five watching. So I think it'll be safe to begin. How about you? All right, get to where I can see the screen chat. Steve Trybowski is here. Maybe we should do, uh, since there's no hackle tonight, we'll, we'll do roll call. It's 6 o'clock p.m. Let's say, let's do some shout outs. Uh, what's, uh, let's hear where are you at? Where are you from? Who are you with? Whoop, whoop, whoop. How is everybody doing tonight? Let's spin some deer hair. We'll have to get our background sticker out of the way. Check them out. It's the latest craze, folks. Sticker mania. Set that out of the way, and we'll come in on the camera a wee little bit. All right. We got Mary in the house from the Belgrade, Montana. Jimmy is from North Carolina. Steve Trybowski is from I don't know where. Who else do we have? Steve is from New York. Westmoreland, New York. All right, let's do this. So, Rudolph is up front. And there's actually, um, come to find out that uh, Rudolph was actually a, a female. 
All right, look at that. That's a big old hook. 3366 on the 2-watt. Good stuff here. All right, so to do this, we're going to be using our flat wax nylon 210. And like all good flies, this will begin with a single wrap of thread. We'll just do a little bit. Got my old scissors out tonight. Uh, let's see, we got 406 Flyboys, welcome Steve, and we got Richard he 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 Sinkfeld. Welcome everybody. So I have in my mind's eye. I've got some deer hair here. Deer hair here. And I have some foam left over bits and pieces. So I th I'm thinking I can get something. I can get a rack out of this portion here. So let's go ahead and let's isolate the, the piece we're going to work with. All right. So this is going to be on the back side. And I think for simplicity stakes, I'm just going to add this in at the end. Um, kind of similar to what we did with the tail on our little turkey gobbler. So we're going to just dive right in and just start spinning some hair. So this is uh, some nice deer body hair. Not necessarily deer belly hair, but this is what we're going to work with tonight. And we're just going to go and take small chunks and spin, spin, spin. Oh, I need to get the other scissors out. I have a pair of scissors that I pretty much... I keep keep it for uh, the foam, trimming foam and such. All right, so I guess we'll pan out just a little bit. Yes, we are making a reindeer fly. And that's the plan. So let's clean out our hair. get that clean this is some funky monkey hair this can require quite some cleaning and you know because we are this is all going to be spun and i'm going to try trimming this this is going to be very interesting folks i hope this turns out well so we're just going to spin it to win it all right and just for giggles i'm just going to come in and trim Trim the tips off. And I like to tie it butt out. I'm planning on building a some sort of cone shape. Well, that didn't. I just puffed. I did not spin. We'll do it again. This is going to be. A lot of wash, rinse, repeat. We're going to stack and pack. We're going to get to the point where we can do some actual spinning. There we go. Nice another chunk of hair. We're going to have quite a quite a fuzzball here at the end of the night on the bottom of the bench. So seasons, greetings, everybody. Hope is everybody having a wonderful time ramping up to the holiday season. Get on all your Christmas gifts purchased. Here we go. All your 
list checked make sure everybody you're not in a nice list so this is actually going to end up getting compressed forward when i put the antlers on after i do some body trimming and this is a complete experiment here folks i mean i have not attempted to make a uh, reindeer fly yet um we're venturing into new waters. Now last year, last year was before All Tied Up even existed. It was just an idea at that point. And I had a different channel that I ran everything off of. It was more of a veterans related, but I believe that one is off the books now. Oh, spin and trim, spin and trim. And tonight I will be using a brand new. Okay, so how I'm doing this, folks, I take one soft wrap, I get a little bit of tension on it, and then I just keep spinning. Usually two or three wraps is all it takes. Ow, that hurts. Uh, yes, good question, Jimmy. Uh, am I doing a live feed next Sunday on Christmas Eve? No, I will not. Um, however, <clears throat> what I will do for everybody is I've figured out how I can uh, pre-record a, a video. And between now and then, sometime this week, uh, I'll be tying another fly naturally um but it'll be another kind of a special christmas themed fly um i'm entering into a, a tying contest um i guess i guess i'll post a link um on the um facebook page and and what we will be doing is it's I don't want to tell you where the website is yet or who it's from um, just because I don't want to give any misinformation so uh, later on this evening I will post a uh, a link so anyways this contest you know it's for prizes and such but um, what what they want is something Christmassy. But they, I, I believe they want, the, the premise is, is to use actual Christmas related material. So it's like bona fide mistletoe and stuff like that. So I have a couple of top secret ideas for now. Um, and what I am going to do is record me coming up with that fly and have it pre-timed pre to release. Uh, this time next week. That's that's what I can do. That's my compromise for everybody. A previously recorded. Merry Christmas, everybody. A little. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Yay. No hackle tonight, but we'll still ding the bell. Hey, we even got Jessica on. Good evening. Good evening from downstairs to upstairs. We are making magic happen in the kitchen tonight. Homemade bread. You know, it might as well be Christmas for me. It's just, oh, good things, good things. All right, here we go. Spin, spin, spin. Tight little grab and spin. Usually two, three turns, that's all it takes. Once it's spun, you know, there's no sense of wrapping your thread in there anymore. And that's kind of the trick to... Well, at least how I spin the deer hair. Oh, 
so getting ready um moving on down the calendar uh i will have a tie of the week new year's eve uh that will be happening i will be hosting a trivia night at my vfw post so if you're local come join me at the east side vfw for a trivia night Prizes and fun. You guys know I'd have fun. You guys would love having coming out to one of my trivia nights. I don't know. I just like getting in front of a crowd sometimes. We're just gonna keep spinning. I, I I'm sure this makes for just wonderful, wonderful entertainment. Like here's a here's a trivia question. Name the location of an American flag that is the furthest away from everybody. What do you think? What's your guess? Let's hear some answers. You know, I would love, Steve, I would love to uh, spend, uh, there you go, Richard, you got it. The dad, the old man's got it. The furthest away from everybody would be on the moon. The moon. It's also one of the only ones that never come down at half mast. I like a good flag trivia. Clean, clean, clean. Can't clean enough. So for the eyes of this little project, we'll talk about our eyes here in a moment. And I'm hoping they'll work. I definitely have a small, small lot of them um, to mess with. And they are, I believe they're basically uh, the same as any old uh, stuffed animal. We'll get a holder on these so I have two sizes I have the have them, what I'm calling the large and the small and they have these little posts on them and I haven't done this yet but my theory is that I should be able to you know, once that's trimmed up I should be able to just glue glue that right into the hair We're doing pretty good. I don't want to take this all the way up front. I'm I should have actually I should have went with a shorter shorter shanked hook. Um but that's ship sailed now, hasn't it? Um But yeah. Looking forward to the new year coming up. We are getting ready to hit the streets. I got my clousers almost done. I almost got my clousers um, for the clouser class ready. I have the woolly buggers are ready. I got my Tom Sue's hopper kits ready. And then I'm going to probably put together, um, you, after that, by then I should be able to get into some more hooks and put together some uh, some smaller panfish patterns Let's 
spin it to win it. Don't be afraid to compress it. I mean, the actual distance on the shank of the hook, I've barely, I've barely moved halfway up the shank of the hook. Um, and that's all on account of the spinning and moving it forward. And this is what I'm going to do. See, so on this hide, it's a little cattywampus there, and I'm having a little bit of difficulty getting in there. So I'm actually going to take my cutters and see if I can't trim that away a little bit. And that's really solid. At least bend it back. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. There we go. So we just eliminated a big chunk of that hide just to make this a little bit, a little bit easier to access. Much better. So I'm grabbing about a little bit bigger than a pencil's worth. I mean, obviously the the bigger chunks you grab, the further you move, you can move forward and faster, but uh, things get a little bit more complicated when you start introducing that much So I'm going to hope and try that sometime between now and New Year's, I'll get an opportunity to get get my line wet. Uh, we did have my fly fishing club I belong to, the St. Cloud Fly Anglers. We had our annual casting clinic with Bob and Bobby, all the way over from Wisconsin. We're in the St. Croix, and we all meet up at the St. Cloud State Huskies Football Dome, or football stadium. During the winter months, we put a dome over everything. So, had good times. Just saw something pop up. Let's see, what do we got? Why was the fly tire afraid of Santa Claus? I don't know. Why was the fly tire afraid of Santa Claus? Because he knows how much money we already spent. I don't know. Why was the fly tire afraid of Santa Claus? was claustrophobic claustro claus claustrophobic i see claustrophobia all right we just got a little bit more to spin on here and we'll Tidy this up. We'll pull out the pull out the steel. 
and start trimming. We'll hope for the best. I've never, like I said, we're we're venturing new grounds here. I've never, I mean, I've done mice. I have not done a Rudolph. I just can't get enough enough loop on that. Well, that one didn't spin. That was more of a hack and pack job, but we'll take it. Here we go. We're just going away at it. I think that's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Cause I'm do, I'll do a little snout, a little nose, a little snout, and then just kind of carve out a head. And then we'll put our antlers in the back. Rudolph's antlers. Cause yeah, like I was saying, I was reading an article that you know one of those things you really don't think about until you. You're in the know, but uh, reindeer, the males, shed their antlers pretty much before Christmas time. You know, it is possible, but it's not likely. And then you start thinking about all the names of the reindeer. You know, it's like, they all could be feminine names. So, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Giving that bobbin quite the spin. All right, sorry about that. We lost uh, lost a little connection there for a moment. Just one of those things that are plugging the live streams lately. But we're back. We are back. You guys stay Beethoven, cause I am Bach. Yep, like always, until I give you guys the official see you later. If the stream just disconnects, unless it's a national emergency, um, I'll be right back. So hang tight. I thought I eliminated that problem. I was adjusting some of the phone settings. Here we go. I tell you what, all this pinching and trimming of hair, if you have any kind of arthritis or sore fingers, this may not be a pleasant time, pleasant operation, because it is quite a bit of pinching and squeezing. Okay, so for now, I'm just going to tie this off. I'm just going to bump this up and tie this off. Uh, I should go just a little bit more. Ah, they lose their antlers. Wind resistance. Alright, let's do... We can do a couple more. Because I don't want to put too much... Too much... Too big of a nose. Because I don't want... I don't want to give Rudolph too big of a, a nose. It wouldn't look realistic. Think of that. 
<laughs> All right, let's give this a try. Tell you what, folks, this little eyebrow brush is the way to way to go. You can conveniently look at it. it's made by an elf. Get all that junk cleaned out. That's very important. We'll take a quick take a quick picture of that here in a moment. Here we go. All right. So we're going to come back and we're going to add a little bit of red goodness up front. But I just want to get this all out of the way before we start trimming. All right, so that is that madness. Go ahead and just brush this out. And for those of you who have been tracking along and hopping in on some of the Instagram Instagram live streams, I actually I did find my Velcro dubbing brush, which has been a wall for a little while. All right. Look at that madness. Can it be contained? So this is what we've trimmed off thus far. Um, that's a good, it's a good puff, good puff of fluff. All right, so um, razor blades. I believe disposable razor blades, two-sided, is the only way to go. And uh, when it's when I talk about these razor blades, it's remember they're disposable. They're supposed to be disposable. You don't want them to necessarily last. You shouldn't be getting a thousand flies out of them. So the ones that I use, I use the Derby Extras, and I just get the little distrib distribution pack. I believe it was a thousand. A thousand individual blades. I think these are little ten packs that they come in. So once you, you know, at first I was starting, starting, I would, I would use a marker, and I would mark what, which side I, I used, and these ones are actually numbered. Um, you know, one, two, three, four, so you know one and then you can switch it over and do two so on etc so let's see if we can't wish me luck everybody this is going to be very interesting so this is obviously it's going to be the top i needed to do somewhat of a snout um but we'll just start this off be mindful, especially here at the bottom. I can probably come pretty short on the bottom. That's the, the chin area. All right. We're going to go a little bit more. All right, so that's the bottom. And I kind of want to do about the same. Kind of 
kind of like a almost like a diver So I've even, I'm just going to switch sides on this blade. Boy, I am like super focused in on this. This is almost kind of crazy. All right, let's go ahead and just take a pause. Whew, that was intense. Who's with me? Who's with me? All right, let's go ahead see if we can't brush this up a little bit we got Mary Mary's still with us all right so next let's see we're gonna have this is gonna be part of our antler system Yep, we're going to keep on, we're going to trim this up. We're just going to clean this up on the back. And just because we do have blades, double-sided razor blades, let's not forget that we have nice scissors. Oh, yes, Richard. Santa has... I've been talking to Santa's elves. I've been definitely talking to Santa's elves. And word is, you've been good this year. Word on the street. Kind of want to just... Keep this, because I just want this to be the, the snout. I'm hoping, okay, so this will, this might work, but I think I'll have to... I'm going to end up cutting this down a little bit. Ooh la la, this will be fun. We'll just glue that in there. <gasps> We're getting there, folks. It looks a little weird close up, but... All right, you know what? I'm, I'm the type of person that, you know, it's... You can spin and twist and trim and spin and twist and trim until you're blue in the face. And then, oh, this is going to be nice. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see. Let's do, we'll start with the antlers. We'll finish the antlers. We'll spin that out. That way the camera can. All right, so for this, I want to kind of go up. I want to do some, a couple branches. 
Because Rudolph definitely needs a big old rack. What do you say? Alright, let's give it a try. Maybe I'll come at it this way. Yeah, that's going to be it. And we'll be lucky if it comes out even. And we'll bring this up. We'll trim that. And we'll just... Here we go, just like a uh, Christmas snowflake. I think that's going to be really nice. All right. Now, when you are in a closed environment like this and you're working with deer hair, the last thing you really want to do is give everything a big blow on it because you'll end up with this deer hair everywhere. All right. This is how we're going to do this. Let's go ahead and get our super glue ready. And we'll get ready to zap that in. And it can basically glue the whole back part of the spread. So I'm using uh, Ultra Gel and I want these to fold back, tend to trend it towards the rear. And this might take a few minutes to, to set. So while I have the super glue binding and securing on the, here on the inside, we're going to take some UV and just tidy that up around the back. We're just going to add a little bit in the seams and that's thin so I'm going to kind of let that run into the hair just a little bit we're going to give that a little zap thank you Jimmy thank you and we're going to give it this little We'll just dab around that hook shank. And this is just going to help secure that in place. At least for now. While that super glue dries. Alright, we'll get that back in place. And let's go ahead and do our eyes. I think that's about where I want them. And actually, what a tool that I would love to get my hands on. is a cauterizing tool. I think that would just be absolutely swell. All right. We're going to give it give it the old gusto. A little dab of glue, you right? 
Let's hope so. As I run out of glue, say it ain't so. I think we have a spare. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, here we go. A little dab of glue, yeah. All right, and I shortened the little post on this. That's not working. All right, we need to do a flush cut on the back of this dome eye. We're going to do another dab of glue. That one's dead. Put that one off to the side. We'll get this little eye in there. Hello, I'm Rudolph. Almost. You're almost a Rudolph. All right, let's repeat the process on the other side. We'll make sure it's nice and even. Trim out a little cavity. Alright, lessons learned from last time. We're going to do a flush cut on this little plastic eye. Lord knows where that little piece went. Find our little dab of glue. And let's go ahead and then glue this eye in. I think that's working out. And... The final piece to this puzzle will be none other than the red nose up front. And to do that, I'm just going to take a little bit of red thread. And a little bit of chenille. All right. This is going to be a little difficult. Alright, we'll run that back as carefully as we can. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose and if you ever saw it you would even say it glows like red chenille. You know, just need to All right. There you have it, folks. That's my Rudolph. My red-nosed reindeer.
I think I turned out all right. I think I turned out all right. Not too bad for really no instructions. Ho, ho, ho. I like it. I like it. So, let's, uh, I'll go ahead and wrap that up. Um, so yeah, next week uh, we will not be having a live stream on account of it being Christmas Eve. I will uh, post a, I will have a timed release video. Uh, something special for Christmas. I'll cook something up between now and then. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned. Um, swing by. We still have a little bit of opportunity. Um, if you want to order a set of uh, tools, I do have... I do have the bobbins for sale, uh, small tool sets, and uh, the grand tool set, which includes a little bit of everything. Uh, stickers are available. Hats are available. Um, great stocking stuffers, folks. I mean, this is good stuff. So be sure to check that all out. All available on the website, all tied up, flytyingschool.com. Um, yeah, I think that'll be it for tonight. Happy tying, everybody. And with Rudolph... Tight lines. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.